Question 22. Graph the line represented by the equation 2x plus 3y equals 6. All right, so I have 2x plus 3y equals 6, and I need to graph it. Uh, this is in standard form. To graph, you need to have it in slope-intercept form. So let me explain to you what is slope-intercept form. That is when it looks like this, y equals mx plus b. So I basically want the y alone, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and copy this, and I'm going to fix it and make it where I isolate the y or I make the y alone, okay? So I want the y alone. Do not move the number with the y. What number is with y? 3. You're going to move the other one, okay? So the other one is positive 2x. You do the opposite. The opposite is minus. So minus 2x, and you copy to the other side. 2 minus 2 is 0. It cancels. Copy down 3y equals. Now here, you need to decide, are you going to copy it or are you going to uh, subtract? Here you need to copy, okay? Now, why am I copying? Okay, this is what I mean by copy. You're just going to copy them next to each other. You do not do 6 minus 2. So 6 minus 2 is 4. You do not do that. Why? Because they are not like terms. What does that mean? That means that here there's an x and here there's no x. They are different. Okay, you can only add them or subtract them if they have the same letter. So copy because I'm going to put different letter or variable. I'm trying to write this in simple terms for you. Okay, so no letter x you're just going to copy okay if they both had x then yes you would do 6 minus 2 and you would get 4 for x okay let's continue the last part is i want to separate the 3 from the y if there's no sign in the middle this is actually 3 times y right now it's multiplication the opposite of multiplication is division you will divide by 3 and you will divide each part by 3 this will cancel and you get y equals 6 divided by 3 is 2, and then negative 2 divided by 3 is the same thing. It's negative 2 thirds. You copy the x, and you are going to switch. y equals, now why do I switch? Because I want that x in the middle, right? This is positive 2. This is negative 2 thirds x. I'm just going to switch. So negative 2 thirds x, and this is a positive 2, so plus 2. Okay. Okay. Not finished. Now we got to graph it. Let's go ahead and do our M and B. M is the slope or the rate of change. B is the Y intercept. M is the number with the X. That would be negative two thirds. B has no X. That would be two. Okay. The first one that you put on the graph, the first point is the B. The B is first. So I need to find positive 2 on the Y because this is the Y intercept. This is the Y. So you have up or down. Those are your options. Positive 2, positive is up. Negative is down, but positive is up. So I'm going to put my point there. Okay, now for the slope. For the slope, you need to do rise over run. Okay, rise is up and down, up is positive, down is negative, run is to the right. Negative 2, negative is up or down, down is negative. Then you always go to the right. So I'm going to move two spaces down and go to the right, 3. So 2 down, 0, so from the B, which is 2, this is your starting point. Go 2 down, 0, 1, 2, and then you got to go 3 to the right, 0, 1, 2, 3. There you do. There you go. And then you're going to go ahead and just connect connect that line right there, okay? Connect it all the way across. Okay? And put arrows at the end and there you go. That would be how you graph that. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please give it a like, leave a comment, subscribe, and I'll see you again next time.